Okay, let's continue with the, uh, mostly with the anat anatomical differences between the two divisions of the autonomic nervous system. Uh, to the left, parasympathetic division, again, the uh, preganglionic cell body in the, s in the uh, spinal cord. And we have a long preganglionic axon to a, to a ganglion, uh, autonomic ganglion that's close to the effector organ. That's where the cell body for the postganglionic uh, cell is. And there's a short postganglionic and ganglionic axon to the effector organ. Sympathetic to the right, again, preganglionic cell body in the spinal cord. A short preganglionic axon to a ganglion that's either close to the vertebral column or a little bit farther away. Um, and in this case, the, the preganglionic axon could actually be branched, different from the parasympathetic. Then the cell body for the postganglionic axon in that ganglion, and it is long, and it goes out to the affected organ. Here's an overall view on, uh, on uh, slide eight of the parasympathetic nervous system. Uh, again, brown is preganglionic, blue is postganglionic, out of the cranium and out of the uh, sacrum and see how many organs are innervated by the parasympathetic nervous system. Here's the same view on uh, slide nine of the arrangement with the sympathetic nervous system. And you can see all of the same organs are innervated. Most organs are what's called dual innervated uh, by both divisions. And here you can see brown again is preganglionic, blue is postganglionic. And it's a little bit more complicated in the sympathetic nervous system because the ganglia, there's several, two different types of ganglia that, that the, the preganglionic axon could go to. It's called a sympathetic chain ganglia. It's down along here, all of these. And remember, it's uh, thoracolumbar. It only comes out of the, th of the thorax or the lumbar section of the uh, spinal cord. Um, there's another different route where the preganglionic uh, fiber goes to what's called a collateral ganglion. And that's where, the, uh, uh, in some cases, the postganglionic cell body is located. These are, post, uh, these are called collateral ganglions. And there's another route that goes to the adrenal medulla where there is no postganglionic axon. Well, essentially, there is. Um, the medu adrenal medulla are modified nerve cells, they don't have axons. They're essentially postganglionic uh, uh, nerve cells without an axon. Now, in slide 10, I'm going to say really this, the same thing again. There's three, um, actually, there's four routes uh, for the sympathetic uh, division. Uh, three routes, one called spinal nerve. Uh, the preganglionic axon to a sympathetic chain ganglion post to effector, which is what we call a ventral ramus, or ramus communicans. Sympathetic nerve, same thing, but the, the preganglionic axon goes up to a different level of sympathetic chain ganglion, and then uh, postganglionic out to the effector organ, and then the splanchnic nerve pathway preganglionic to one of those collateral ganglia uh, to the uh, organ that's being innervated by a splanchnic nerve. Slide 11 shows you, this, it talks about the same thing, these different roots, the deep sympathetic roots uh, in a, in a uh, figure form. This spinal nerve pathway, I think, is incorrect. It should stay on the same level, on this level of the, uh, so the, uh, the preganglionic um, axon goes out of the uh, spinal cord into what's called a, uh, a weight ramus. These two rami are called the ramus communicans, into a sympathetic chain ganglion, and then the, the uh, postganglionic fiber should leave the same sympathetic chain ganglion and go out to the skin or wherever it's from. Um, sympathetic nerve pathway 
is the same thing, but here it does go to a different level of sympathetic chain gang, uh, either superior or inferior to where it came out of the spinal cord. Um, then the splatrinker pathway, the uh, preganglionic axon goes uh, out through a uh, ramus communicans, the white ramus of the ramus communicans, through the sympathetic chain ganglion, but does not synapse with the postganglionic cell. The postganglionic cell body is in a is in a collateral ganglion. In this case, it's a pubofibro ganglion, and that's where the the uh, the uh, postganglionic fiber goes to affect the organ, in this case, the intestine. Um, so in this case, the preganglionic uh, axon is a little bit longer than in the um, sympathetic or spinal nerve pathway. And finally, the special case, renal medulla pathway, where there's only one axon, a preganglionic axon, that goes straight through the sympathetic chain ganglia, it's through the collateral ganglia, and innervate, innervates the postganglionic cell in the adrenal medulla, and this postganglionic cell doesn't have an axon, it just secretes epinephrine and norepinephrine. Okay, slide 12 is, is uh, uh, just uh, the same thing. It talks about the special adrenal medulla route, a preganglionic fiber to adrenal medulla versus splanchic nerve, and there's no postganglionic axon, or there is there is, but it's it, it's secretory. It's inside the adrenal medulla, and again, parasympathetic craniosacral, and the same things: long preganglionic, short postganglionic, ganglia reflex. So we're saying the same thing. Slide 13 is a table that talks about the same thing over and over again. Uh, you know, the important thing to look at here is we've already talked about these different functions and th these things over here. But remember that. Uh, uh, Sympathetic division uses the ramic communicans, and this is where fibers enter and leave the sympathetic chain ganglia. The parasympathetic division does not use those. And usually, uh, there's one thing that we haven't talked about, degree of response. Parasympathetic is usually a local response. Sympathetic could be local or a mass acti activation, that is a body-wide activation. Uh, this is the last slide we're going to talk about in this mini version. We're going to split this chapter into uh, three parts. Um, we're going to stop here at the neurotransmitters. Remember, the parasympathetic nervous system, it's all cholinergic. Remember, cholinergic means it uses acetylcholine, both for the uh, so the preganglionic axon secretes uh, uh, acetylcholine, and the postganglionic uh, axon also secretes uh, acetylcholine. But sympathetic is different. The cholinergic, the preganglionic, is cholinergic. But the postganglionic could uh, secrete either acetylcholine or actually more likely norepinephrine, which is adrenergic, not cholinergic. So, and, if, and that's usually the case. Uh, the cholinergic is just in sweat glands, adrenal medulla, and blood vessels are the only cholinergic postganglionic uh, neurons in the, in the sympathetic uh, division. Uh, some sympathetic uh, um, postganglionic axons actually secrete nitric oxide, so they're called nitrogenous. Now, in the next uh, slide, in the next part of this PowerPoint, I'm going to start with slide 15, and we're going to talk about uh, uh, receptor types. Uh, for cholinergic and for adrenergic uh, synapses.